Welcome to Kingdom Builders Christian Center Church's weekly impact Bible study like none other. Where you will hear the relevant, reviving, and refreshing Word of God. Now here is Pastor Vernon Bright. Shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Thank you for uh, allowing me to come and share the Word of God that I hear and those that are on their way we just thank you for being a part of this impact Bible study. Amen. Um, I hope that your day has been grand. I hope you have a grand and great day. Amen. It's important that we uh, take advantage of every opportunity to uh, give God the praise and the glory. Amen. We just thank you for, for your diligence. Okay, we're going to um, pick up where we, we really didn't leave off. I just want to reiterate what we talked about on last Wednesday. Um, and, the, and, and, and it deals with Isaiah 46 and 4, just to give you a background scripture. Um, before we get too deep, I, I hope that you're on Facebook. Hope you like and share. Like and share. Let us know where you're watching from. Don't be peeping in the room. Just come away in the room. Let us know where you are. But we did it with Isaiah 46 and 4. And it's important that we understand that God got our back. Amen. 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 God has our back. And we have to understand that Nothing slips up on him. Amen. That's right. Nothing. Because he's sovereign. He knows the ending from the beginning. Amen. Okay. So we talk about it again tonight. What God has ordained or sustained. He can maintain. He shall maintain. Isaiah 46 and 4 says it like this in the New International Version. It says, even to your old age. And gray hair. Mm -hmm. I am he. I am he who will sustain you. I have made you and will carry you. I will sustain you and I will rescue you. What he is saying right there is if he call you to something, if he promise you something, he is going to do what he said. Amen. Amen. God, and one thing I love about the Lord, if the Lord writes you a check on a rubber check, you can take it to the bank because it ain't going to bounce. <laughs> I'm, Amen. But God says that settles it. Amen. That settles it. So, he has said, since he's ordained us and going to sustain us, he's given us authority over the devil. Right. Yes. We as believers have authority over the devil. This is why I'm adamant about telling the believers in my church and those that are online, you must open your mouth and even talk to the spirits the imps, the pimps, the demons of Satan. You must talk to them. Amen. And just tell him, get ye behind me, Satan. Amen. If Jesus talked to Satan, then you got to talk to Satan. I know, maybe you, maybe you can't recognize Satan, but let me help you with this and try to recognize him. Satan does not have a red suit, pitchfork, and horns and the table. That ain't him. That's to throw you off. That's, it. That's, the, that's to throw you off. He comes in every shape, form, and fashion if you will allow him in you. Amen. You know, that, that's why you can't recognize him sometimes. Because honestly, sometimes he looks too much like you. Amen. I, I, I didn't call him devil. I'm just saying how he can get in. He'll get in where he can get in. Okay? And 
The reason we have authority is because of Jesus' crucifixion. He died in his resurrection. He rose from the dead. Are you listening to me? Amen. He's already defeated the devil. And as believers in Jesus, we have that same victory. That's right. You're more than a conqueror. The victory is yours. Amen. You're above your circumstance, not beneath. Amen. You're the head, not the tail. Amen. Right. You can't be moved by what's happening in your life. You got to be moved by what God has said for you to have greater. Amen. That's why you can't be moved by what you see. Only by what the Word of God says. Because what you see changes all the time. All the time. God, through Jesus, is the same yesterday. Today. Today and forevermore. He never changes. Amen. The same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Okay? Amen. Colossians 2 and 15 says... Having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. Now, this is what I like about when you have authority over the devil. You can be minding your business. What I say? Minding your business. And when you have authority over the devil, minding your business, he'll run you and ask you, what you want with me? Because he thinks the minute you show up, you come to get him. You just minding your business. Well, okay, Jesus was minding his business. A legion of devils came to him and said, what do you want with us? He was minding his business. He didn't come, he didn't come to for the devil. But see, when you walk in authority, people will notice you. Right. Ah, your enthusiasm overwhelms me. When you're walking in authority, you don't be all poor me. Amen. God, what am I going to do? Because you're walking in authority, you got control of things. You got it? That's it. You know, Paul, you know, <laughs> was likening what Jesus did to the devil, to what the Romans, you know, would call a tribal, uh, 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 triumphal procession. Sometimes you got to mark, you know, back in the back in the day, Rome with this. When they may want to make a spectacle of you and want to teach you a lesson, they just they parade you around. After they done done what they need to do to you. I, 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 you know what Satan has stepped in his head and crushed his head? Y'all don't talk about. Yeah, I, I'm going to parade him around. I'll whip the devil in that situation. Let it be known. Amen. Okay. Your Bible is, the Bible says this. You overcome by the blood of the Lamb. Help me somebody and your testimony. You got to tell how you and God defeated the devil. Amen. Because God cannot work against your will. Amen. You have to allow him. Well, he, he can do anything he wants to. Yeah, but he's an orderly God. He ain't going to come in unless you invite him in. Amen. If you invite him in, he'll come in. He said, if he can come in whenever he wanted, he said, why did he say it? The scripture said, why do I stand at the door and knock? That means you got to let him in. Yeah. He's a God of order. Just because things may be a little chaotic in your life today, don't mean you don't have authority over the devil. Amen. Ah, amen. That's good, devil boy. I almost gave myself an amen. Watch. God loves you. Amen. So, God loving you, let it be known he's not schizophrenic. Right. He's not going to love you today, and then, then tonight, when night comes, he's going to stop loving you. He, not, he don't love on conditions. He's an unconditional loving God. Amen. So watch. God does not, even with the authority you have, does not put bad things on you. Amen. No, no. He, he can't love you and then put bad things on you. Because right. he wouldn't be schizophrenic. But he loves you enough that in his permissive will he allow things to come upon you that you don't like sometimes for you to see him. Amen. And claim your authority. Amen. Yes. Many are the affliction of the, of the righteous. But God has helped you through them all. 
Bad things happen to good people. Yeah. I'll break it on down again for y'all. It rained on the just as well as the unjust. Yeah. Amen. It happens, but it don't make you have less authority. Amen. People run from the police. <laughs> They're still in authority. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So, we got to learn, if you will, the devil can no longer, and we got to say, it can no longer cause any trouble unless you let him do so. Old man told me, this old preacher told me this one day, he says, I said something about people riding your back. And he said, the only way a person can ride your back, your back has to be bent. Think about it. Because when you're standing straight up your shoulders are square, it's hard for them to ride your back. They'll try to jump up on you, but it's hard for them to ride your back. So we got to stand with our shoulders square, with our straight up and stand, and stand bold against the devil. Anything that's not like you, not like God, is an attack from the devil. Amen. God don't have to whoop you into submission. I learned this, and don't don't take this wrong. I learned this in my studies, in my experience with the Lord. You know, sometimes we say things like this wrong people. I think I can say it. You know, I beat the hell out of you. Now, don't look at me like that. Y'all don't say that. Come on. No, you can't. I don't care how much you be. But God can love the hell out of you. Right. Amen. Yes, He can. Think about it. His love is unconditional. It's agape. He don't care what you've done. Right. What you plan on doing. He ain't gonna stop loving you. Right. So if we learn to submit to God, according to James 4 and 7, then we can resist the devil. And he has to flee from you. Amen. You ever notice in school how a bully always messes with folk? Amen. But they only mess with the folk that don't resist. Okay, ain't nobody never been a bully, but the secretary of the church. Thanks. <laughs> You've been a bully. You know, you gotta resist a bully. A bully be a bu the bully mate. You just tell the bully this. Listen, today you're not taking my lunch money milk. Now you may you may whip me, but you ain't taking it. I ain't giving it to you. Amen. And you better bring an extra lunch and box of milk or you're going to be a minute. That's how you resist the devil. Yeah, you may have got the best of me this morning, but this evening you ain't getting the best of me. That's how you have to talk to the devil. Did you catch that? The devil will flee from you if you resist him. He don't want to be nowhere where there is opposition. Amen. He don't. He, he, want, he want to eat and, you know, on bullet, they just pick on people that got bullet. You know. They don't want to pick on people that won't fight. That, that's why when you walk in authority, they be like, oh, Lord, here she comes. You don't say, oh, Lord, and he's saying, no, oh, here they come again. Oh, here he come. Jesus Christ, why didn't he find somewhere else to go? You know, that's, that's what you want the devil to do. Be afraid of you. Because you're a child of God, okay? Amen. And, you know, we got to understand that when you have authority, you got to use it here on earth. That's right. When you became saved and decided to give your life to God, you really signed a contract to be attacked. Amen. Okay, Amen. okay. Amen. Amen. Y'all trying to make this real hard. He's ordained you. That's why he's going to keep you. Now watch. You never honestly notice the attack until you got saved. Why? Because before then you were walking with him. Doing what he wanted you to do. He didn't have to attack you. You got it? 
But the minute you say, I'm in a chain team, I'm going to give me a new contract. Not even taxing you. you. Does it make sense? You qualify. Because he know he's trying to, he already know he loses. He's trying to keep you from going to the winning side where you can lose. Amen. He knows he's going to lose. He knows his final destination is the lake of fire. He knows this already. But he won't quit fighting Amen. to get you to come to the lake of fire with him. He knows he's going to be in misery. And misery loves company. I ain't going to hell for nobody. Now, if I, if I, and I ain't going, but if I have to end up going, I ain't going for anybody. You got it? I ain't going to put no gasoline on me and go to hell. That's for the fire, right? Okay. So Luke 10 and 19 says, Behold, I give you authority to trample watches on serpents and on scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Did you hear that? Amen. If you watch this now, come on now. He gives you authority to fight the devil. Y'all may not believe this. The devil had no power. Right. Okay, I got, I'm glad I got one witness. <laughs> Have I got a witness out there in Facebook? Man? The devil had no power. No, no. Okay. I'm glad y'all hear this now. The only power that the devil has is that which you give him. Amen. He ain't got no power. He, I call him a punk. <laughs> he, no, he ain't got no power. He ain't got no power. Here's why. Jesus, when he went in the grave, came back with the keys. Watch this. Watch this. He came back with the key and with all help me somebody in heaven and in earth. He came with all power. Now since he's giving you authority over the devil, that's how he gave you a key. Right. Exactly. He, the power belongs to Jesus. He ain't got no power. Exactly. Satan don't have any power. We give him the power. Right. All he can do is tempt you right. to come his way. He can't make you come. Right. Flip Wilson that he had it wrong. The devil made me do it. No, he tempted you and you did it. Got it? So you have been given authority. The only way he had power, you give him your authority. Amen. Amen. When you when you land down sometimes like, Lord, I just don't know what I'm gonna do. You gonna take authority. Amen. Stop saying you don't know what to do. Take authority. I'm going on to sleep tonight. Shoot. Amen. And stand away, ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Come on. Go, I mean, go, go and eat the pizza. I don't know my appetite. That's what he wants you to do. Then you don't eat the pizza and around trying to steal one. See, he cunning. He a trickster. He, he confuses you in your thinking. That's how it gets to you. Okay, y'all don't believe that. Satan is the author of confusion. confusion. He keeps you confused. That's how he keeps you messed up. When you're confused, you be like, you're all over the place. You're all over the place. You got to make sure you know what you're doing. We're going to adjust my mic next time. The sound anyway. So, when we've been given the power, all power over the enemy, we got to start using it. This is what I want you to do starting today. You gotta start opening your mouth. That's right. And talking to situations. People gonna think I'm crazy. I'd rather be crazy and get and get what I need to get. Than it look like I, I got it all together and losing everybody. Yeah. Come on. You know, some, some people don't want some people don't want. They don't want. They want to look good in front of other people. Mm -hmm. Okay, let, let's keep this thing real. I'm, I'm talking to Facebook, I ain't talking to y'all. <laughs> How many of you care about what people think? I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you on Facebook. I got you. Come on. <laughs> How many? Well, I said that my equal opportunity to tell How many in here care about what people think? What you care about what people think? I mean, be honest. Now, 
Like, I'm, I'm gonna show you. This is my, this is my pedigree. I ain't never cared what people thought. Amen. I just don't care. I mean, I don't, don't get me wrong. I would like for people to like me, but I guarantee you, pastor don't do no sleep or miss no meal because right. you don't like me. Right. Right. I ain't gonna stop doing what I'm doing because you don't like me. Right. But what? And I and you ain't gonna suck me in with that. If I were you, no. If you were me, you would be me. That's right. <laughs> But I, I love people, but I don't go along to get along. I train them. Oh, I got two. I'm full. I mean, I act the super secretary. I don't act the ursher. I don't. I don't go along to get along. I treat. I do. I try to do it right as much as God show me, and I do it, and I let the chip fall where they may. When I do it right. Amen. I said, I'm bald with him, man. Look at you, I can't stand with your bald head. I already know, but there's 10 I don't know. You got it. So Jesus is authority above every name that can be named. That's the only somebody I'm trying to please. Amen. Amen. That's the only somebody. Amen. Even when I, listen, even when I write, I be thinking like this. Could I have done something different? Because you know, you, you want to be right. But then you be like, God, I've done something different. Because you, you really don't want to make nobody feel bad. You know what I'm saying? Okay? There's absolutely nothing on earth, under the earth, in the earth, above the earth, out in space, nowhere else, that's higher than the name of Jesus. Everything. Submits to him. Amen. Amen. Now watch this. When you learn to operate in the authority Jesus has given you, just like demons tremble when they saw him, they'll tremble when they see you. I'm serious. They'll tremble. Let me, let me show you how that works sometimes. You ever, you ever seen somebody that saw you? But they try to play like they didn't see Amen. 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 Uh-huh. It, it ain't because they scared you. They, ooh, no. Like, they didn't plan on seeing you right then. Amen. Mm-hmm. But you don't go at them. You just be, hey, how you doing? They be like, ooh, I'm glad they went home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you say, how you, when you ask them how they doing, they don't even know how they uh, what, uh, uh, They be stuck. Mm-hmm. See, that's the way you want Satan to be. Amen. You won't say this at I, 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 I got I got an imagination, okay? I, I think there's a similar line of demonic spirits. And I call the money spirit seven is it? The money spirit seven, you go down there and handle AP. And you come back all tore. What happened to you? Dude, man, dude ain't playing. He, he got some Jesus in him. Number, numbers. Okay, let me play. inspect the demon twenty one. Go He got he got a similar line of if, 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 if you can't get to this level, you where you get another level group. See, he got he got there are different devils at different levels. Some devil just can't help. Hey, can't no devil help you yeah. because you got the thought. But the closer you stay in Christ, the the more authority you get, the more powerful you become. And ain't no demon in hell can help you. Right. Amen. Not even Satan himself. Right. You got it. Yeah. And then if it get too tough for you, you can call on a big boy by the name of Michael. Right. He loves fighting. Yeah. He's an angel. He loves to fight. Jesus like to hold him back all the time. Hold on, Mike. Anytime, yeah, I got the sword, Jesus. What, what you waiting on? Michael be saying, I'm tired of them. They're like, you tired of them. Let me go and cut them all off. He talking about other things. Because sometimes we ain't got our stuff together. You got it? So, we know that he's able. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name above all names, according to Philippians 2, 9 through 11, which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, watch this. Every knee shall bow. Mm-hmm. Every tongue gonna confess. 
those in heaven, those on earth, those under the earth, that every tongue will confess that Jesus the Christ is Lord. Amen. And all the glory is his. See, when you learn to do that in your spirit right now, confess to Jesus that he is the authority in your life. Don't watch it now. Don't, don't don't get your brain and your mind confused. They're two different entities. Your brain is part of your body. Your mind is part of your spirit or your soul. So if you get your if you get your mind right, then you'll start talking like you're a winner. You'll start walking like you're a winner because you are. Because you can, that's why. Watch when you asking of anything when you praying. You always end it or go with it with in the name of God respects that. I'm coming, I'm coming to God in the name of Pastor. He was the Pastor who? Who? Pastor Brian. You know Pastor Brian. Yeah, I know him, but you come to him. He ain't got no problem. Unless he use my name. Remember, at the name of Jesus, every knee. See, guys, the folk ain't gonna get down. They gonna get down when they come on scene. They gonna get down. Yes, sir. Okay. And no, since you've got authority, He's given it to you. You are complete. Uh huh. You complete in Him because when you use the name of Jesus, it ain't you working. It's Him. You got it. It's Him who is the head of all principalities and power in Colossians two and ten. He's over everything. Satan has already lost the game. He got you thinking you got to play the game. Well, if you got to play the game, then fight is fixed. Right. You win. Amen. Amen. I'm glad. I'm glad I got one person got <laughs> When you understand that the fact that the devil is completely defeated and that you have authority over him, nothing, no, nothing the enemy brings will prevail against you. Amen. Okay, here it is. Watch this. Y'all help me with this. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Now watch it. Help, 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 help me understand it. Will a weapon form against you? Will it form? Yes. It will form. Yeah. Both will try to <laughs> take to come at you, but he won't prosper. Amen. Because you're going to stand bold with authority. You have to tell him, suffer. You better get up out of here. Right. And then sometimes you got to be sure no real with that. That's the best you got. Yeah. Now when you say that, be ready or he's going to shoot again. Exactly. But no weapon formed. It will be formed, but it will not prosper. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why you got, sometimes when your mind starts to wander, you got to bring it back into captivity. Amen. Bring it back into captivity. Yeah, into what Jesus is saying. Don't worry about what's going on. Because what's going on is only temporary. Right. Amen. Okay. I got to help you renew your mind to the authority you have in Christ. You have authority. No one before me should a problem. We just said that. Um, that's Isaiah 54 17. Words that are spoken against you are weapons. Now, I didn't finish that, so watch this. No one performed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn, or God will condemn. So watch. You got to be careful how you treat God, folks. Amen. Amen. Because out of your mouth is harm. Okay, okay, I know, I know, I know. You learn this and you stuck with it. This is a world of things. Y'all help me now. What are my smart people? Who went to school? Who went to first grade? <laughs> Sticks and stones. <laughs> when they who wrote that nurse around then lie. Amen. Words will make you crack. Words will make you die. Words will cut you in two. Amen. Yes, it will. Okay. Then God, you, we, we try to make God be a liar. Watch Satan. Satan, I'm going to prove to you that you're lying. God said, death and life is somewhere. In the power of the tongue. In your mouth. Mm -hmm. 
So don't tell me words aren't just sound. Right. Word is life or death. Right. Exactly. Words, words hurt. Yes, they do. Now you got to know how to distinguish. Come on now. You know, some guys get mad for nothing. <laughs> Over words. You know, especially some of the females, they call you that dog. Mm -hmm. Female dog. Mm -hmm. Then you start fussing and get mad and cursing. Now that ain't your name. Right. Mm -hmm. But you you yielded to it. That ain't your name. Mm -hmm. You're gonna keep walking. But you like when they call you shouting. Yeah. You turn around and look. No, keep walking in. Your name ain't shouting. Right. Me in the same way. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ooh, look at that fine joke. That joke ain't fine. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Words. Every tongue that rises against you shall be condemned because your righteousness is from God. Amen. But God called you. That's what you are. That's it. it ain't nothing you did. He said, if you believe it in me, then you are the righteousness of, in God in Christ Jesus. And whatever he called you, that's what you are. That's why some of y'all names, if they hadn't already, your res on your resume ain't gonna change. You ain't gonna no longer be whoever you may be. You're gonna be a new name. Mm -hmm. And 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 this would apply to everybody. When you make it to heaven, I'm speaking, I'm speaking what's gonna happen. They ain't gonna say, come on in, Lorenzo. The, my word, the Bible tells me it says. Servant, well done. Into to my Amen. servant. No, ain't, ain't, ain't gonna talk about pastor, pastor, pastor. No, pastor ain't gonna get in there. Pastor dirty rotten. But servant to get in there. Amen. Come on, servant, well done. You ain't ready to wait. I ain't ready to wait. that Moses well done? Right. I ain't ready for Jacob well done. Mm -hmm. Servant, well done. Got it? Amen. Now this means, <coughs> we just said being the rights of God, when a thought comes to your mind that says you are anything but what God says you are, you call it a lie. Amen. Come on. Okay. Got to go in a minute now. See how many people move in more time by a minute. Don't, don't you get don't you don't you sometimes be tired of being you in the flesh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you gotta start being you in, in, in the righteousness of God. Mm -hmm. Now you ain't all that. You you missed that memo, you better read it. Right. I am all that. Mm -hmm. Of all the chips and the dips. Mm -hmm. Come on. Amen. I'm all that. Oh, you think you something? You missed a memo again. Exactly. I am something. I'm skillfully and wonderfully made. You didn't know? Come on. Amen. You can condemn those words because you got to bring every thought into captivity. You got you got to see yourself, y'all. This is what I used to do years ago. Me and Lady T. She didn't understand that. She didn't. She didn't have no better sense than this is me. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all laughing at <laughs> Then have some things. But let's dress up like we got. We dress up, go out to the mall. That's when the mall would jump. Couldn't afford nothing. Credit so good, couldn't even buy bubblegum. Mm -hmm. Couldn't afford nothing. But we look like it. Going out and, and sitting in it. Sitting in cars and sitting in houses. I ain't got nobody credit. But God had put it on the inside of me. Let's do this. Dress for success. Talk to yourself. Tell yourself you are skillful and wonderfully made. Look in the mirror and tell yourself how good you look. Thank you, Jesus, that I look good as I look. I don't care if you got gray hair or no hair. But just look, tell yourself how good you look. You don't need all that hair. That, that ain't none of you. I, this is my hair. I bought it. I mean, you know, it's mine. It's mine. 
You got you got to see yourself already at your wealthy place before you even get there. That's right. You got to thank God now that you already. You got to see yourself greater now. God has greater in store for everybody on the side of my voice that's looking at me. God has greater in store for you. Amen. That's why you got to learn to take authority. You can't be moved by what you see. You can't be moved by things that are going on. You got to stay in control. You got to have self-control by keeping your mind on the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm serious. You got to count the call. Is it worth me saying that? Not today. I ain't know about the mom, but not today. I ain't said it today. Because I'm in control of myself. I'm going to let God be the head of my life. I'm going to quit robbing him of his glory. Amen. I'm going to let him glorify himself through me. And they'll be asking questions like this. Girl, how come you ain't all up been out of shape? If you only knew. And sometimes you have to laugh to keep from crying. Amen. Sometimes you have to. But you can't yield to what Satan is doing in your life, and you can't yield to what people say they think you ought to be doing because they don't honestly know the story behind the glory. Amen. They don't know what you've been through. You got it? Amen. God, from the early existence of your life up until this present day moment, has been taking care of you. That's right. That means He ordained you. That means He's going to maintain you. Or sustain you. He's going to keep you if you let him keep you. Amen. Some days I just don't feel like it. Make yourself feel like it. Amen. Wake up happy. Dawn and up a new day. You got it? Amen. But God has ordained, he will maintain. If this message has been a blessing to you, out in Facebook or in an audience, I want you to consider sowing into this ministry. You'll be sowing into good ground. You can use the cash out. Shortcut dollar sign KBCCC55. That's dollar sign KBCCC55. Or you can use the Gillify app. Look for Kingdom Builders Christian Center Church and you will be selling on the good ground. And remember, you stay focused. You stay in faith. But most of all, you stay connected to the church like none other. We are Kingdom Builders Christian Center Church. We love you. We'll see you Wednesday, uh, Sunday. Amen.